Good morning, Bearcats. I'm Dom. And I'm Shamby. Today is Tuesday, March 26th, and this is Bearcat News. Today's lunch is mashed potatoes, peas, tossed salad, assorted fruit with the choice of entree being taquitos, sloppy joe on a bun, PB&J pack, or a chef salad. Our top story today, tomorrow we'll be hosting our annual Bearcat Bridge College and Career Fair. If you want your resume available for employers, see Ms. Cox for a printout. Also tomorrow is the blood drive. Make sure to help those in our community and give blood. Bristol, Virginia Public Schools, in cooperation with Bristol, Virginia Police Department and the Bristol State Pol Virginia State Police, will be aiding in the training of police dogs. The canine units will be at Virginia High School periodically throughout the remainder of the school year. There will be occasions when the dogs will be here while students are present in the building. Students, if you come into contact with the trainers and dogs, please refrain from any type of interaction with them. The talent show and spring festival took place last week. The talent show winner was Julian Harrison. In the spring, in spring festival competition, the third runner-up was Justin Mai and Kendon Lester. Second runner-up was Isaiah Williams and Haley Marion. First runner-up was Lewis Stewart and Paris Martis, Mar, Martin. I'm sorry. Mr. Virginia High was Ezekiel Postel, and Mrs. Virginia High was Sailor Jenkins. There will be a mandatory parent meeting for anyone that wants to go wants to try out for cheerleading for the upcoming 2024 and 2025 school year. Parents and students are required to attend the March 25th meeting at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tryout clinics will then take place on April 24th and 25th. Applications are now open for any student that is interested in a paid summer internship. If you are interested and have questions, please see Ms. Cox for this also. The Virginia High School Winter Guard competed at the Scarlet, Scarlet Hurricane Indoor Showcase on Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. The small group ensemble placed first in their class. The Winter Guard team placed third in their class. Congratulations on its superb competition. Are you in need of volunteer hours? Interact Club has multiple opportunities for students to earn those hours. Students can volunteer to wrap books for elementary students in our area. Students can volunteer at the Bristol, Virginia Little League umpiring, assisting in concessions, bookkeeping, announcing, and field maintenance. Students can volunteer at Children's Inc. to help with homework and organize, and organize activities and games. Students can volunteer at a local health care facility to visit with elderly patients and assist the nurse or social worker. Students can volunteer with clerical work at Abuse Alternatives. Please see Ms. Cox if you're interested in, any of the, interested in any of these opportunities. Community service hours are due to Ms. Dean in the Counseling Office by April 8th to be considered for the Citizens in Action Program. Forms are located on the board outside of the Counseling Office and on your Class of Schoology page. You can still buy a yearbook for $75 until May 1st when the prices go up to $80. And now, let's take a look at the upcoming Bearcat events. Tonight, girls tennis will take on Grayson Co. High School. Tomorrow, there the career fair will take place in the new gym, while track and field will be at Abingdon High. Report, gar report cards go home on Thursday. Then it's spring break, no school Friday or any day next week. On Saturday, baseball will play Y Central at 4 p.m. at the Smokies Stadium in Kodiak, Tennessee. That's your Bearcat News for Tuesday. We hope you all have a successful day. And, and stay, stay classy, Bearcats.